What's going on YouTube, Bert here, and in today's video, we are going over my overpowered Gourmand's Fixer. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button with a false 76 can you can see this, and subscribe for more false 76 content. Let's get into it. Starting off with the mods, this is the Gourmand's Fixer we're going to be using, and the Gourmand's effect is the damage increases as you fill your hunger and thirst meters, has a 25% faster fire rate, and a plus 1 to perception. Now the Fixer is a very unique weapon because it has a unique perk that is improved stealth, faster sneaking movement speed. Other than that, this is a combat rifle, but with that being said, it does share the exact same mods with the combat rifle. So whatever mods you do have for the combat rifle, you'll have for this weapon. There's a total of 56. I only have 24 unlocked for this character, but starting off on the receivers, we have the Prime Automatic Receiver, then I'm using the Aligned Long Barrel, Aligned Stock, Performing Mags, Reflex Sight Dot, Suppressor because we are going to be using Sneak so we can get a little bit of Sneak bonuses, and then just the paint. If you have a fixture paint, you can throw it on, of course, but if you don't, well, you don't. You're stuck with what I got. But this is the fixture we're going to be using, and now let's get into the demonstrations. And the first place we're starting off for demonstrations is the White Springs Golf Club, and that is because there's a ton of goals here and they're super duper squishy, so it's a perfect place to start. But before we get into the demonstrations, the build I'm going to be using is a Sneet Commando build. So take a good look at it if you need to. I got some defensive perks in there just in case I do come out sneaked. But before you start using Gourmand's weapon, you want to make sure your water meter is full and your food meter is full. Mine's almost full, but we'll go ahead and top it off. But that way we get the most amount of damage out of this gun. Now this gun acts more or less like a mutant's gun or a junkie's, but a little bit easier to maintain because all you're doing is eating and drinking the whole time anyways. I know I'm always stuffing my face whether I'm trying to grab rats from dirty water or I'm eating some uh, hound food. But holy cow, are y'all seeing this right now? You could run this as a full health build too. Ooh, absolutely ridiculous. I don't even have the best perks on for my vats or anything like that. Ooh. This is impressive. This is your gourmand's fixer. And just to be filled with your food and your water to get this much damage, that is ridiculous. And that's so easy to maintain. You can literally eat anything in this game. Well, not literally, but there's like, watch, I can find a, a potato chip somewhere. Come on, I know there's potato chips. They're usually sitting up here or something. Look, there's spices. We can eat the spices, the sugars. Yeah. Don't hate on this gourmand's effect. I wasn't too sure about it, but holy cow. After seeing this damage, huh. This is something else. Could you imagine taking people out with the Gourmand's guns? Like, oh, what, the, what kind of gun are you using? Oh, it's a Gourmand's, man. I'm just a full guy and I'm raging now. Got all the power in the world. All I gotta do is eat some food and oh, there I am. I'm like, Papa, where's my spinach? Give me my spinach. Give me my spinach and some energy drinks and uh, you got my Fallout character. Let's go. This is this gun on the ghouls. Now let's test it out on a bigger target. And the next location on our list for the demonstrations is the West Tech Research Center. And that is because there's a ton of super mutants here. And they're a lot tankier than the ghouls. So we're going to see how well they do. But again, make sure your food and water is all the way full. Mine's still completely full. So we're good. We're good to go. Uh-oh. If As long as VAT sits, we're good. We are good. Look at that. I think I got one of my new favorite weapons. This is ridiculous. I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't know it was going to be this good. I'm going to have to test out the aristocrats now after this. An aristocrats faster fire rate? Actually, I need people to come buy some stuff from my store first. I'm on, hey, come come to Boss Bird 2's house and um, yeah, buy my stuff out. That way I can use aristocrat weapons because right now I'm completely broke. And so it'd be the it'd be the worst choice for me to use that as a weapon. But I'm just demolishing these super mutants. This is insane. They're all dead. They're all gone. They're all done. Nope, there's one more. Boom. Now let's move on to a bigger target. And now we made our way south of Solomon's Pond because this is where the super mutant behemoth Terry is sleeping. And Terry doesn't know, but I have the Gourmand's faster fire rate fixer, and I'm about to blow his freaking head off with it. <laughs> I'm pretty freaking excited. Oh, Terry. Wake up, Terry. Yes. All right. 
Three, two, one. Terry is no more. Terry didn't even fight. But the Gourmands, this is the fixer. They know how to make a fixer. The Gourmands know how to make a fixer. On to the next one. And now we made our way over to the Spruce Knob Lake because this is where the Myler Queen is. And she was curious about this uh, Gromans fixer and I'm curious to show her. So, that being said, oh Myler Queen, please don't make any sudden movements. My vats never hit, so I don't need you to be moving. Uh-oh. Not bad. Not bad, but not good because she cannot, uh, she cannot find me. Two clips and she's dead. That's not bad for a non-bloodied fixer. So, on to the next one. And now we made our way to my favorite fixer site because this is where my Scorch Beast, Charlie, is. Now, Charlie's one of my favorite test subjects because she always gives me a, you know, a fight. Always flying around and never wants to land. But that is A-OK -okay because with this fixer, we might be able to shoot her out of the sky. Oh, oh, close, close. Come over here. Don't you, don't you fly into those trees. All right, here we go. You stand no chance once you hit that ground. And just like that, Charlie is no more until next time. But this gun is as good as any junkies or as any mutants or even aristocrats, in my opinion. This is an absolutely amazing gun and super easy to maintain to get all this damage. But if you enjoyed the Fault 76 content and you want to see more, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more Fault 76 content, and guys, I shall see you in the next one. Peace.